Now today I am having a trip down memory lane. I have not used a dip pen in years and I saw these this on Amazon and I thought oh, I wouldn't mind having a bash it and I used to quite enjoy using them. But then again my memory is not great so that may not be the case at all. These are by Zig Cartoonist they're called. Uh, they seem to be Japanese. Pen nibs for manga. It comes with this pen holder, nib holder, and one for ideal for drawing thick lines and overall general drawing in there. This one is ideal for drawing soft and flexible lines. Used with Zig Carton is nib holder. And this one is ideal for drawing hard and sharp lines. And every one of them comes with a warning on to keep out of the way of you, the richer children. Why? Well, this could actually use not Include me, but anyway, I'm going to have a bit of a trouble getting it open to the start off. So, right, got it open. Teeth. Thank God, thank the Lord, the good Lord gave us teeth. There it goes already, I've only just started. Anyway, I'm going to use these, this dip pen today, and what I thought I'd do, I will do some quick sketches some faces Get some different lines in there and basically I will ink them all over now one of the reasons I wish to do this is to see how the ink covers because I've never used this ink I got the black ink from Curie Tape or something it's Japanese obviously and it is for manga painting and on the Amazon store where I got this it sort of said that they you could watercolour with them well It'd be worth finding out so in the second part of my little video I will have a bash at colouring them in with my watercolour pencils and add in water and see what happens with the lines if the ink lines do go tits up on me. Anyway I'll do a few more faces and when this video is finished I've done my filming I will um speed this up because this is probably going to be quite boring open will it cover up the pencil lines so that when I do a light erase over it at the end it will have got rid of all of the marks pen, the graphite pen marks so see you in a moment so more to recap more for my benefit than anybody else's I am testing out these nibs now They've got quite a good write-up so far. They come very securely packaged. I actually had to stop the video to get it off because it would have been embarrassing with my NAF fans to try to film the opening of it. It took so bloody long. Still, 
the pen has gone in nicely. It feels a nice, oh, nice pen to hold. So it feels comfortable. I better shake this up. Let's have it drop to the bottom. I need to get the scissors on that again. Very secure packaging around it. So this is the manga drawing and these nibs that I have got here that I'm trying out first are for drawing thick lines and overall general drawing ability. So we'll try that. I'll dip some ink in. Excuse my hands. Not great. Got myself a bottle of old jam jar. I wanted all all mod cons here. This is going to take me back. Now, if I remember rightly, you start off at the top. Turns nicely in my hand as well. Anyway, this could get very boring of a video, so I will pause again and I will do this middle one with these. Uh, the next one for this one, I will use soft and flexible lines. It creates this type. Does uh, so that be for that one? And then for this one, I will use Ideal for drawing hard and sharp lines. Now, I don't know the manga, manga, or whatever it is called, Japanese words for these brushes, but there's, I do believe there is quite a few various so I won't go into that because there's no point in me saying I haven't got a bloody clue but what I will know at the end of this is whether I like using them so see you in a bit so I will do the inking and then when this film is finished I will speed it all up and put a voice track on at the end Okay, so I have started, uh, finished inking with my new nibs, and now I will try to erase, and I hope it will take them off nice and clean. Now, this one I did make a mistake with, which is, which is I'm quite happy, not happy, but it's to be expected, I haven't used a dip pen in 20 odd years, and my hands aren't that great, so only making one mistake I'm quite pleased with and of course I haven't got any of the white ink 
to cover it like you used to in the old days so it won't stop what I'm trying to check on these things but as you can see I tried getting around the problem by masking it, hiding it <laughs> but anyway it don't matter but I found the nibs work really well they really do seem to hold the ink when you dip them and you seem to go quite away with it before needing to constantly refill now in the my old nibs, I, uh, nibs and pen holders that I used to use years ago were a lot less comfortable than this one is and all in all so far I'm really pleased with them now I just want to check the ink see if it does hold the water, hold the watercolour in without uh, running because this is what it claims on Amazon but I don't think that is correct so I'll soon find out I have got some watercolour pencils and I will try to colour now I've lost my brush somewhere God knows where I'll put that now now one of the problems I used to have with dip pens years ago was they were, the nibs would constantly flick ink when you were trying to do it it was, used to make a lot of mistakes so these I haven't had a problem with at all with flicking the ink the, ink, the nibs seem really good for trying to do what I'm doing anyway I've found my brush now so now I will add a bit of watercolour pencil do it this way these are the academy ones so we'll try it. raw armor we'll try a bit of a raw armor so let's have a go I haven't added a lot of water now it does seem to be holding hold it because when I looked at the ink that came with this brush that I brought uh, the Zig ink it doesn't say anywhere that it was uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called when they're waterproofing didn't have it clearly stating that they were waterproof inks but it was stated on their website now I expected it to at least say it on the ink bottle but there's nothing but it is holding it I added a bit more water nothing seems to have run so far so it seems to be you need to be a bit careful but you don't soak it it seems to work so. all in all i think this nib pen is something i will use a lot more because i used to enjoy doing it but this is so comfortable to hold now I will try to say which one of these is well there's no chance of me bloody saying these words so I in my speech so I will add call outs and let you know what they are and then I will finish here all I can say about this dip pen is absolutely brilliant. I've really enjoyed messing about with it. Not the most scientific uh, reviews, I suppose, but till next time, please subscribe, like the video, 
uh, visit my blog, follow me on Google Plus, and all the rest of the things. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the voice.